on a regular basis, many of us would like to see more environmentally friendly ways of generating power. A new proposal to set up a wind farm in Saikung could help in that respect, but it's leaving some people far from happy. The EMSD back in 2002-2003 looked at all of Hong Kong and what renewable energy potential there was. They did a really good report um, and, and the conclusion of the report was basically offshore wind power offered uh, the, the most cost-effective large-scale renewables for Hong Kong. Then there was the government target of 1-2% to renewables which came from the Council for Sustainable Development recommendations based on work including this report. So when we looked at it using our you know, global experience in wind and we also look at solar and other marine renewables, we came to the same conclusion as, as EMSD and government did, that offshore wind was really the best way forward. The project originated from our, one of our, our partners, uh, Wind Prospect. Um, the concept, they came up with the concept and they uh, needed a partner to work with who is uh, familiar with the Hong Kong environment and uh, I guess COP is uh, a natural choice. So that's how we, we, we started to do the offshore wind feasibility study in 2006. The proposed offshore wind farm at Sai Kung, once fully completed, was spread across an area of 16 square kilometer. It will be located about 9 kilometer east of Clearwater Bay Peninsula and 5 kilometer east of East Naipin Island. The 6.7 billion Hong Kong dollars wind farm will be able to generate 200 megawatts of power, enough for close to 80,000 households, and meeting around 1% of Hong Kong's electricity needs. CLP Power and its partner in the project, Wind Prospect, say that 300,000 tonnes of carbon dioxide emissions can be offset within a year. The final layout of turbines hasn't yet been decided. There could be either 67 turbines of 3 megawatts or 40 turbines of 5 megawatts. The smaller turbines, which are 135 meters tall, can be set about 500 to 650 meters apart. The larger 5 megawatt turbines need to be spaced further apart. They have an expected operational life of 20 to 25 years. CLP says the development will bring cleaner power, but that it may require an increase of 1 to 2 percent in electricity bills. The partners have submitted an environmental impact assessment report to the Environmental Protection Department for approval. Public consultation on the assessment will end on the 2nd of July. The next step forward uh, for us is not actually to build the project, but to uh, install a, a research data collection uh, mask at the site so that we have detailed wind data and site data so that we can make our uh, project decisions. Depending on the average wind speed, we might be able to use a turbine that produces slightly more than, than, a, than the other types, but we, we can't make that decision until we've got the data. Um, and that decision can influence the, the, the output of the turbine you know, quite, quite significantly. The location of the project, which the utility company has been developing for three years, has been shifted one kilometer east in response to residents' concerns about the visual impacts. It will now be about 14 kilometers away from residential areas. Responses in the community are mixed. Some don't believe it's worth spoiling the cyclone landscape for what they call an insignificant reduction in greenhouse gases. In addition, the area is considered to be of particular geological interest due to the presence of these, the world's largest acidic hexagonal columnar rocks. Some fear the turbine layout could kill the beat to make a proposed geopark in the area into world natural heritage sites. Government spent a lot of resources to, to try to uh, uh, work along with the proposal to build, to, to establish the World Geo Park, uh, the, the World Geo Park, uh, in Hong Kong. They, they try to modify some of the, uh, museum, uh, turn it to be a geological museum, something like that. However, if the wind farm had been built there, and there may be a difficulty 
for UNESCO to designate Hong Kong as the World Jewel Park. That's the one problem. It's not only the destination, but also it cannot be uh, multi-rate uh, ecotourism development in Hong Kong. The information we are provided for from the government is not in a very readable format and where people can really understand um, what is going to look like, the visual impact. Is it going to affect any animals? You know, uh, what does it mean when we say it's nine kilometers from Lobster Bay, which is over there, we can see it right there in Clearwater Bay. I mean, we will be able to see it from this rooftop right now. You can see the Nine Pin Islands and, you know, these sort of things like what, what is the, the reality of this project and what will it mean to people who live and love Sai Kong? Yeah,当海潮的当个区域的海潮的生物量是比较少的,也都是海底只是一些淤泥,并没有一些很珍贵的珊瑚,也都对航道,因为香港其实大家知道航运是很繁忙的,对航道的影响也都是最小的,所以